and that signature hair piece. That, I think that really captures the Han Solo hairstyle really well. Hey guys, welcome back to Brick System Brothers. Nathan Masters here, and I'm going to review Han Solo's Land Speeder from the Solo movie. Uh, released back in 2018, so a little bit of an older set by now here in 2020, but still worth a look. Um, I have picked this up from Bricklink a couple months ago, and I built it back uh, about a week after I got it. So it's been together for a little while. Um, I did appreciate the build, but it's kind of sat on the shelf for a little bit. So I am in the process of packing stuff up to move back from uh, from the summer. So. Before I packed this away, I wanted to take a look and see what we have in this interesting set. 75209 is the number. It was part of a series of sets released for the uh, solo movie Wave. So we've got the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon from that wave. Um, some of the characters, uh, younger Han Solo and Kira from the movie. Um, those two are included here. Several other characters were spread across the other sets. but um, The set itself is a version of Han Speeder as we saw in one of the early scenes, the chase on Karelia um, before they left the planet. They were both pretty young in that scene, um, but the minifigures, I think, are somewhat consistent throughout the line, so not a lot of variance there, but we'll look at those more in, in a little, in a minute here. Um, just the box, pretty standard. I think this uh, solo cover art was used throughout the, the wave. There was just the one wave from the movie, so... That didn't see a lot of change, but um, just some decoration on the back here it shows the different features. We've got the um, spring-loaded missile pieces are included in the speeder, even though I don't exactly recall any firepower being included. But oh well, it's a nice play feature. There are some wheels as well, so we'll look at those on the model. But yeah, pretty standard box here. Nothing too spectacular to talk about. It does show the other uh, hidden feature as well. So let's go on to the model and look at that. Um, in terms of vehicle size, it is larger than some of your standard LEGO vehicles. I mean, even our eight wide speed champions, it kind of, I guess it looks, it looks pretty similar. It looks kind of at home next to our eight wide speed champions vehicles but six wide starts to look pretty large uh, even though I think the scale is pretty consistent to the movie where our minifigures are seated and how that lines up all the way around um, the other thing we do see is the left side does have a little bit different design um, because in the movie we saw all of these panels were off someone was working on this side of the engine um, and then on the right, it is more filled in and more finished out. So there is another little section, three studs long here, where that was maybe in progress of being fixed or repaired or something like that. Um, but for the most part, pretty accurate to the movie. So glad to see that um, being pursued here for the set. Um, the other thing that kind of threw me off was this lopsided spoiler. Uh, I didn't really remember that being part of the movie, how that was maybe shifted over, but I think it is accurate after watching it again recently. So good to see that is included here as well. On the back we have our two propulsion engines that it's going to be driving the craft through the streets of Karelia. We also have a bit of a hidden storage feature here with like an engine core of some kind. Um, it's not very detailed, it's just a one by one round um, brick. No printing or anything, but that does fit pretty nicely in a two by two gray box. So the way that the box is built or molded, you can put a two by two plate on top and it will hold on a little bit. There's a little bit of clutch there, enough to keep it in place. And um, minifigure wise, on Kira, the Kira figure is exclusive and has pearl gray silver. Come on, there we go. Pearl gray silver torso. So that's pretty interesting. We don't see minifigure elements molded in that pearl metallic cover, color very often. And it's printed on top of that. So, really great job here, minifigure design. I think it's supposed to resemble a, kind of a fur jacket or coat. So that texture on there does just enough to bring that across. 
and this minifigure is 100% exclusive to the set. I think it's also the only time we've got this hair piece in any set in this color. Um, and this hair piece has just been recolored for our Harry Potter line this year, 2020. Han Solo is also included. He has this uh, mud splattered jacket and legs. So great minifigure design and printing on here as well. Detail on the back of the torso is included. Double sided head and that signature hair piece. That, I think that really captures the Han Solo hairstyle really well. So great to see a dedicated hair mold for that released in 2018. Did Kira have? Yeah, Kira has a uh, different face as well. So double sided heads for both figures. There is also a Karelian Hound in this model, seen on the box here. Um, I don't remember where I have, lo have placed that, so I don't have that to show on the video, but it was included. Two more of those were included in the other Solo Landspeeder set, um, the Molux Landspeeder. Pieces, we have two chan tan chairs, which was a new color for 2018. Those have now been seen in seven sets, so starting to get spread out a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it took a while for the tan chair to show up on the LEGO color palette. Other than that, uh, there are several new or harder to find dark blue elements being the main color of the set. One of them being this window arch up in the front and dark blue. Uh, last I checked on BrickLink, it was still exclusive to the set. It might be uh, this set and one other one now. Let me check real quick. I have it pulled up. So as of now, this dark blue uh, window arch is only available in two sets. And one of them is this one, the other one is a Cinderella carriage thing. So probably not too widespread in most people's Lego collections at this point. Um, unfortunately, there is only one, so we can't get that symmetry here uh, for the speeder, but um, somewhat of a, an uncommon piece, it looks like. And it's used pretty well here for that headlight frame. On the bottom, there's a little assembly to help it roll along um, when you have it on the ground, so just to keep it moving. Uh, it does kind of have that hover effect as well because it's held up about uh, a stud thickness off the ground. So easier to see from the front and this side, but then on this side you start to see that assembly on the bottom. Um, it does just use some of these older versions of the Lego axle and rim, so nothing really fancy. Um, but what that does allow is now we have enough room to include these spring-loaded shooters on the bottom so it's not very intrusive placement um, the mechanism does stick out on the back but uh, as we know with these you need to be able to access the back or have something that can access the back like pushing on a an axle that will push on the back because that's how that's how they're fired off and um, in this case they're put on sideways so instead of pushing down like I was just trying to do, we actually have to pinch it in like that. And then it launches off. So two of those are included. Not exactly as accurate when you're looking at the movie. Whoops. One last thing to look at would be the hood. It can come off. Several components underneath here like the engine with uh, these pieces being used to give some detail. Storage for the guns and then this like trans green power core or whatever none of this is really shown in the movie that i can remember but it does add some play value so that's nice to see um, and that's something that lego's kind of done for a long time is just putting in those extra details taking a few liberties but um, the overall impact of the model isn't too affected because it's all covered up in the end so yeah that's uh, han solo's land speeder from the only wave of solo sets that we got back in 2018. Uh, the highlights here being the minifigs, especially Kira, as Kira is exclusive to the set with that hair piece and pearl gray jacket. Very nice pieces there. 
Two tan chair elements, which was new for 2018, starting to be a little more widespread, but plenty of dark blue Lego pieces. If you like that color, it's a good place to get them. Originally, this retailed for 30 bucks. I picked this up on Bricklink for 25, so by the time you factor in shipping, uh, still pretty reasonable. If you do want to pick this up, uh, still hope for you. Um, probably possible to get it under 30 bucks at the moment, but can't say how long that will last. So keep an eye out for it, especially if you find a deal. It's definitely worth 30 bucks. Um, 345 pieces according to the box. Several of those are pretty nice elements and somewhat exclusive as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on Brick System Brothers. Um, and I looked at kind of the color dispersion for chairs uh, in my a dedicated hue tap video for the chair element so kind of a curious history there where uh, it was almost like lego was holding out on the element for several years and then decided all right we have enough reason to